this is my workshop where I make my jewellery down at the bottom of the garden and this is it from the doorway hard to get a good view first of all I'm going to take you into the place which in fact is the last place that my jewellery ends up which is in my polishing room polishing booth I like to call it where I've got my polishing motor and I've got triply and rouge you finish it off on the rouge to get the final polish and I've got lots of protective gear to wear to cover my face to stop me getting covered in all this very greasy wax that you have to use to make the jewelry nice and shiny. I have a nice door to close it and keep all the dust out the rest of my workshop. Over here I have lots of hammers and shaping tools for shaping my jewelry and texturing the metal. I have a nice uh, a rolling mill there that's currently not working, I need a better one. Um, and lots of and different stamps and doming um, punch. And this is my drill, nice old fashioned bow drill, which I use all the time. And over here, I have the soldering area where I heat the metal to make it softer to shape it and join the metal using different solders. I have charcoal blocks which help reflect the heat back onto the metal. If I'm heating a big piece and I need to create more heat, I've got those. And here I have an, an old slow cooker which is full of acid. Normally it's on but it's not on now. And that makes it, the acid cleans the metal off when it's been heated. And this is a bowl of water to quench pieces after they've been heated up quenching it is cooling it down quickly after it's been heated and then here is where I sit most of the time looking out into my garden which you can't see at the moment because it's dark already sad and this lovely old workbench which um, I got from uh, a friend's dad who'd been a jeweler for many years so this workbench is probably 50 years old and it has moved around the country with me I love it, it's got a really big cut out. And in my drawers, next to my bench, I have a drawer full of lovely shells. I have drawers with lots of nice pebbles and stones in. Oh dear, I'm dropping this charger. Um, I have all sorts of drawers of nice things. This is my drawer of nice things. And then over here, I have drawers with tools in this saw which is used so much at the time and lots of pliers and things like that and then over here I've done a bit of a display of my work for you to have a little look at so I've got sort of three ranges of jewellery that I do because I just like making I just love making all sorts of things so I've got the jewellery with felt and silver in it and jewellery with stones in it and fossils and shells cowrie shells, I've been obsessed with them since I was a child my grandma had a bag of shells which I always used to put my hands through and I love just creating textures and patterns and I have spent more than half my life travelling to Senegal in West Africa so I have a bit of a, I've got an extreme love of Senegal and West Africa. I have family there now and uh, try and go there every year for at least three or four months if we can, but not always. And so I have, yeah, I've got felt and silver, textured, stamps, jewellery, cowrie shells, Africa's. So if you would like to check out my work you can I've written it down here I have got a website which I've recently re-sorted out um, since lockdown which is rosiecolvin.com I have a Facebook business page which is Rosie Colvin Jewelry and I have an Instagram account 
which is Rosie Colvin jewellery also which I post lots of videos of me making things and what I'm working with at the moment and stuff because I like just having making new things and creating new ideas all the time so um, if you want to keep up to date with things Instagram is a good place to go but also once I've um, made a product I load it onto my website so I hope you like what you see and I hope next year I'll be able to see you in person in Stratford okay thanks very much for taking the time to look at my work